Stacey, why don't you come on up while I introduce you. We're going to launch right into the Brokers Roundtable right now. Uh, all of us know, almost all of us know. Nancy has been with uh, in commercial real estate, specializing in retail properties for close to 30 years now. She's the first vice president at CBRE. She serves on the Retail Advisory Council to Management and mentors young people starting their careers and has been heavily involved in various community organizations. As a resident of Tucson since the early 60s, she certainly has seen the evolution of the city's growth. We're going to turn this over to Nancy Thorpe. Let's take a quick look back at 2013. We had an improvement in lowering our vacancy rates to about 8.7%. And given we're not seeing much construction, 2014, it should be a year of further recovery. And while the rest of the nation was buried in snow in December, in Arizona, we recorded some of the highest sales at 7.7%, an increase from the previous year. So that's really great news. Growth in the restaurant sector is expected to be big this year, and the sales forecasted to be at 4.9% up from this year. And as long as the consumers stay confident, retail in Tucson will remain in a growth mode. Tucson proved to be a city, a tale of two cities. One, the regional mall core areas continue to attract high rent paying, good credit tenants that are filling up space which could trigger some new redevelopment of older product. Two, sec peripheral areas of the city and mid-block unanchored centers are still struggling to find replacement tenants and have further stress on rental rates. So let's get to the fun stuff. Let's look at the, the, some of the bigger deals that got done in 2013. Burlington Coat Factory leased 75,000 square feet that was formerly a Mervyn's. Floor and Decor entered our market with a 59,000 square foot space that had been vacant for a couple decades. Whole Foods opened a new store and is renovating an existing store. Cons did a second lease on a built to suit basis with 40,000 square feet in Northwest Tucson. And Walmart was extremely active with neighborhood markets and superstores and they finally opened the store at Elkhorn Mall after making that deal some t 10 years ago. Total Wine did a second store opening in Park Place Mall with 27,000 square feet. CVS and Walgreens did some new deals as well. We had some new retailers enter the market such as Planet Fitness, Shoe Carnival, Arizona Airtime, Dee Dee's Discount, which is a Ross concept, Longhorn Steakhouse, Vitamin Shop, plus others. We also had some large retailers add new locations or move around to right size or reposition their locations, including Joanne, Ace Hardware, Summit Hut, and others. Well, what's happened is that big box space is dwindling with only six vacant boxes of 30,000 square feet or more. And to me, that's good news. The investment sales of shopping centers seem anemic in number of centers sold, but we did see some sales of Continental, Shop, or Continental Plaza in Green Valley, Broadway Plaza at Pantano and Broadway, Rito Crossing on First Avenue, and Wilmont Plaza that is slated to be redeveloped. Investors continue to seek out quality centers, and we predict more centers will go onto the market in this year. I predict that we're going to see some consolidation of big boxes. Uh, big box retailers. Uh, I think they're honestly all sitting in their boardrooms these first two months of this year trying to really figure it out. E-commerce has really challenged them and um, I think the first one to start consolidation is going to be the office supply sector. I think we're going to see some redevelopment of well-located prop properties near regional malls to accommodate new retail concepts and there is more retail planned along I-10 with the uh, announcement of premium outlets in the Northwest and some more power centers planned for the Southeast. People have spent the last few years deleveraging their households and have some pent up buying demands, really. Retail's on the recovery mode and consumers are finally opening up their wallets. I think 2014 is going to be a good year for retail.